Councillor Clare. Thank you, Madam Mayor. When I was a little girl, Viv Nicholson was held, held up as a warning to us all. She won £150,000 on the premium bonds, and true to her word, she spent, spent, spent it. Mr. Cor McCorber would have been horrified, but I'm not quite sure whether Gordon Brown or indeed the rest of the Labour Party would have been quite so disapproving. The legacy of a profligate Labour administration means that, like Mr. McCorber and Miss Nicholson, our country finds itself in misery, having spent more money than we could afford for far too many years. Hold on, you wait, I'll get there. The residents of the, the, the residents of Wandsworth. The residents of Can I carry on? Can, excuse me. Can, can we just calm down please and let Councillor Clear continue? <laughs> the residents of Wandsworth have benefited from decades of a careful Conservative administration. We've been careful not to spend more than we had in the bank and at the same time kept council tax as low as possible. We have a statutory duty to approve a balanced budget every year and for the next few years face a huge challenge to achieve this because there will be less money in the coffers. I sometimes wish I was speaking for the opposition who pay lip service to the idea that we have less to spend but are unhappy with every suggestion we come up with. It would be so much easier to ignore the basic economics of the council, to chuck in stock phrases about cuts affecting the poorest in society, or we're saving money too fast, or to blame the bankers, and to suggest that if only everybody else paid tuppence halfpenny more a week, there'd be jam for everyone. Opposing for opposition's sake without the imagination to think of a different, more effective and cheaper way of doing things is an easy route to take. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I'll rewind there. Perhaps I'm being harsh. I'm not sure I've got the imagination either, which is why I'm so full of admiration for the innovative way that our excellent officers have succeeded in shaving £1,448,180 a year off the cost of collecting the rubbish and sweeping the streets. The tendering process was a first in local government. The menu process meant being able to fine-tune just exactly what we buy into. Perhaps I'm being harsh on the opposition as well. They are rightly sceptical about how effective the consultation process was. It was probably done in a bit of a rush, and there weren't thousands of responses, but it was, yet again, the first time in local government that any attempt has been made to consult on residents' priorities in such detail. Lessons have been learnt. Uh, are Councillor also... Cooper, I heard that, please. Well, it was rough, as you know. Oh, no, that, that, calm down, otherwise I'll be cross. Lessons have <laughs> <laughs> Continue, Councillor Clay. Um, Councillors are all right, are rightly correct that there are risks inherent in reducing some of the town centre collections and the number of daily cleans. But there is a generous contingency fund and an army of beady-eyed council officers alert to any lessening in standards which will be rectified immediately if they happen. And, as Councillor Jacob pointed out, crucially there is an understanding that these two services are the most visible and most valued by residents. It's intriguing that the opposition are against the selection of some of the non-core items in the menu for rubbish collection and street sweeping. sweeping claiming that they are too risky. They're a bit vague on what they would have done instead, but it's clear that they would review the orange bag distribution instead. Councillor Cooper actually raised this at our overview and scrutiny committee meeting, claiming that it was very expensive and that people had too many. This was on the basis of her forensic consultation with a handful of her neighbours and conveniently ignores the massive savings that recycling brings the council. It beggars belief that they've got the nerve to criticise the council's consultation procedure and the implementation of risky changes. At the same time, they approved the saving for rubbish collection and abstained on the budget saving for street sweeping. I still don't understand how it's possible to vote for a budget saving and against the means of making that saving. 
I hope. I hope that members tonight will have, have the courage to vote for both the savings and the means of making them, or the integrity to vote against all the recommendations in both papers. Thank you, Councillor Clay. Thank you. The motion now before the Council is the receipt of paragraphs 24 and 25 of the Executive Report concerning refuse recycling contract, the street cleansing contract. Please indicate by a show of hands that those for the motion. Those against? Thirteen. Any abstentions? The result of the voting is 37 for 13 against. The motion is carried. Thank you. We will now deal with the remaining paragraphs and reports, continuing with Executive Report Number 1, Adult Care and Health OSC, Councillor Madden. Thank you. Environment, Culture and Community Safety, I see Councillor Cook. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, paragraph 4 is for information. Uh, paragraph 5 is for information. And paragraph 6 is for information. Strategic Planning and Transportation, OSC, Councillor King. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, paragraph 7, 8, and 9 are all for information. Oh, apologies. I'll go through one each time. Paragraph 7 is for information. Yeah. Same numbers. Thank paragraph you. 8 is for information. Paragraph 8 is for information. Agreed. And paragraph 9 is for information. The Education and Children's Services of OSC paragraphs are next. Could the Council please note that the OSC supported the proposal in paragraph 12 on Wilner Road by five votes to two. I also ask the Council to note Council Gibbons and Council Speck's opposition to recommendations 3D in paragraph 13 and to paragraphs 14 and 15. And now call on Councillor Mrs Tracy to move her paragraphs. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Paragraph 10 is for information. Paragraph 11 has been dealt with. Paragraph 12, is for, uh, paragraph 12 is for information. Paragraph 13 is for information. Paragraph 12 and 13. Against the same numbers, Councillor Daly. Councillor Sorry. Jacobs, thank you. Uh, did, did you say against paragraph 12? Thank you. Uh, paragraph 14 is for information. Same numbers. And paragraph 15 is for information. Same numbers. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Concludes the report. Housing OSC, Councillor Ellis. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, paragraph 16 is for information. Same numbers. Agreed. Paragraph 18 is for information. Same numbers. Thank you. Paragraph 19 is for information. Agreed. Thank you. Finance and Corporate Resources, OSC, Councillor Senior. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Agreed. It's already been dealt with. Yeah. Paragraph Yes. Regulatory Licensing Committee Report Number Two, Councillor Martin Johnson. Read. Sorry. Licensing Committee Report Number Three, Councillor Martin Johnson.
Planning Applications Committee Report Number 4, Councillor Cuff. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Paragraph 1 is for information. Agreed. And Paragraph 2 is for information. Agreed. Standards Committee Report Number 5, Councillor Professor Mrs Howlett. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Paragraph 1 is for information. Agreed. Paragraph 2 is for information. Agreed. And Paragraph 3 has already been done. Thank you. Item 16 is the report of the results of the recent Chelmsfield Board by-election. Is that report received as information? Thank you. Item 17 is the report of changes to the remits of executive cabinet members. Is that report received as information? That we, want, we have uh, the same numbers agreed, but abstentions from the other side. 13 abstentions agreed. Thank you. Item 18 is report of proposed appointments to fill vacancies on committees for 2011-12. Are those proposals agreed? That's agreed unanimously. Thank you. Item 19 is report of proposed appointments to fill vacancies on outside bodies for 2011-12. Can the Council note a change to the Education and Standards Group? And that is now proposed that the Chair will be Councillor Nadler, with Councillor Dawson remaining as a member. Subject to that alteration, are those proposals agreed? Thank you. Well, thank you, councillors. That concludes business for tonight's ONA meeting. We will now move to the special meeting. We haven't had to have the guillotine, so thank you so much for that. Right, special council meeting, item one. There are no further mayor's announcements for this evening, for this meeting. On item two, are there any members who wish to declare any personal prejudicial interest in the matter to be considered at this meeting? On item three, are there, no, there are no members' questions for this meeting. We now turn to General Purposes Committee report number one. Councillor Morritt. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. I remove, uh, move uh, to receive report, report number one. Is that agreed with everybody? Thank you, councillors. That concludes the business for this evening, and good night. Thank you. <laughs> That's a bit May I wish you all a good summer holiday? I've just realised you should all be on holiday now, so have a great time. I'll see you in the autumn.